Three years ago, I lost a close friend to a drug overdose. He had injured himself uh, playing basketball and later got addicted to uh, painkillers, which he struggled with for a number of years, a better part of a decade, if I'm not mistaken, and on and off. I mean, I talked to him at a point that when he was off, and I thought he was off for good, but apparently that didn't stick up, and um, he has been gone for a few years now. And um, I had big fears because um, I knew I had addictive personality problems. I was addicted to food, I was addicted to caffeine, and then I had some behavioral addictions as well. And um, I almost thought about figuring out how to put in my medical directive that if I were to get hurt and incapacitated in some way, maybe a car accident, maybe uh, COVID-19, right? I don't want to be given any sort of painkillers, no matter how painful it might be. I almost thought about putting that in my directive. Now, in 2020, at the beginning of 2020, I made a resolution to normalize my relationship with food. In 2019, I lost a job over food craving kind of problems, and I missed out on a number of social interactions because I would get lost in cravings of food and leave and look for food and uh, it became a big point of strife in my life uh, in, in uh, 2019 and so in 2020 I made a resolution to normalize my relationship with food and then a couple months later I learned that because somebody decided to eat something that they shouldn't have everybody's life got disrupted and that became a big source of inspiration for me not to mention that every time I was going out to get food, I was risking my life and the life of everybody around me, the safety of everybody around me. So that became a big source of inspiration. In 2021, now with all of that behind me, and I'd gotten over my food addiction, which was hard because I have to still eat it. It's kind of like if you need to stay with a uh, partner that uh, you aren't on the same page with because of the sake of your children, right? For the sake of staying alive, I have to stay in a relationship with food and not uh, get into fights or problems with it. But now that I've done that, it makes me feel a lot more comfortable even if I were to get hurt and need to temporarily use painkillers to make my life better. I'm no, no longer afraid of that anymore. I'm not going to put that on my directive anymore because I, I think of there, there, there is a time and place for stuff like that. And plus, that's something that I can actually leave in my life, right? It's not a partner that I have to keep in for the sake of our children, right? And what, what do I mean by this story? What I mean is that you never tackle resolutions independently of one another, right? Life is one giant interconnected machine, right? And so instead of thinking of your resolution, whatever you made this year, right? Whether it be uh, financial goals or health goals or what are some other common relationship goals, uh, think of them in tandem with the other things in your life, right? You're never going to do them independently of one another. Thanks for watching.